Good morning, homesteaders. I'm Jay. I'm Amy. And welcome to our Harvest Moon Homestead. Uh, Amy and I are taking a little break right now. The heat and humidity are starting to come back here. So it's video time and break time. Today I thought we'd uh, talk to Amy about homesteading. You see a lot of people talking on websites about one partner's good with it and the other's not and how they adjust to it and stuff. So I thought today we'd get a uh, idea from Amy on a female's point of view about homesteading. In fact, I think we'll call today All About Amy Day. Um, when you started homesteading and we moved over here, what were you thinking it might be like? What it might be like? Yeah, what, what, what would homesteading in your mind going to be consisting of when we started out? Well, I think what I didn't think it would be like is all the work. There's a lot more work involved uh, than people let on. You know, there's a, especially the more or bigger gardens you have, the, there's more, you know, taking care of that. And, you know, chickens are fairly easy to take care of. You feed them a couple times a day and collect their eggs and no. So it's not just sitting around the campfire listening to music like people think we do? Right. No. Not at all. What, what would be one of the things that was hardest to adjust to by moving from in town and the conveniences and everything to out here in the middle of nowhere? I, I don't think I had a problem with that because I was ready to uh, move out. Escape. Yeah. <laughs> Time to step outside that little zone and yeah. something comfortable. Was there something you wished you had have known beforehand to prepare for doing this? Um, no, I mean, I, I just, I do a lot of reading, so as we got things or, or talked about getting new things, I, I read as I go along. So I was kind of prepared in that aspect. What I, I don't think I was prepared for was actually happened to work outside during the winter oh, especially when we had like 24 inches of snow and you're having to shovel paths for the chickens or and 11 hogs that need water hauled to them for, and right and uh you know or fixing chicken fences you know i thought you know i'm okay i've got uh long johns on and my jeans and a winter jacket let's go work for a couple hours outside and yeah, that doesn't work. So. Where, where we're at in Indiana, the winters like last winter was almost like a springtime. But we can get those winters where it's two feet of snow in two days and sub-zero temperatures nonstop with the wind blowing. So it does get real ugly here during the winter time. If there's something you could take out of the equation of what's involved in all this, what would be the thing you'd really not like to have to fool with? Or is there something that you'd really like to take out? I, I don't think so. I mean, there's a lot of weeding to do, but I enjoy weeding. I like to get get my hands in the dirt, and I mean, I don't... I, and this is coming from a person who lived in the city right. basically most of her life. So for those of you, oh, I don't know anything about that type of life, all you got to do is learn. She's learned. I learned. Everybody's learned at one point. Nobody knew anything about anything. So if that's a hesitation on your part or your partner's part, I mean, everything's learnable. Everything's doable. Is there something that is the most relaxing, special part of having all this? The most enjoyable? Um, well, where we live, it's like our own state park, so... You know, we don't have a lot of noise. You know, a plane just went by. Um, the no our noises are... It's the, the Russians. It's all the Russians. <laughs> uh, most of the time, our biggest noise is the chickens won't shut up. Or a bear won't quit barking. Yeah, and, you know, that's okay because... Bear's our watchdog. He's a great Pyrenees. And we call him Bear for a reason. He's very huge. We're always hearing all the birds around us, and um, it's just just being out in nature. I've, even though I grew up in the city, I've always been an outdoor person. So yeah, what you hear right now 
is what it sounds like around here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're fortunate we can't see or hear any neighbors, especially when the leaves are on the trees. Now once the leaves are down, we can hear more, but right now you can't hear anything from the outside. So as a female, this wasn't a major adjustment to you. It wasn't an, an unwilling adjustment. It was something you were looking forward to and what you were, were wanting. I think in our situation, it, uh, it was a gradual move for both of us because we lived um, in a small, tiny town. <clears throat> I, I, I moved, you know, like from the city to, you know, a large town and then to a tiny town. So it was a gradual thing for me. So that yeah. helped, you know. And when we were in the tiny town, we had big gardens. So we were, you know, got used to that. And then... Yeah, we, we were, like I said in the last video, we were doing a lot of canning, uh, fruit food prep over there. We had a lot of gardens over there, fruit trees. I think we even started tapping maple trees over there, right. too. Yep. So it was, yeah, that was a gradual move over here. She got her first uh, experience ever of dispatching animals uh, being out here on the homestead. It was something that was totally new to you. Right. And yeah. she jumped in like a trooper, not a problem with it. She's done rabbits, she's done the chickens. Uh, she's, she's handled it like she's done it all of her life. Anything else special you'd like to say to women out there if they're thinking about wanting to do it and they're hesitant? Um, I think, I, well, I think a lot of things, but I think... I think, therefore, I am. Right. If you're hesitant, then I would start slow. You know, don't have huge garden, you know, where it's overwhelming and there's a, a crap ton of weeds to be pulling all the time and, you know, a couple of chickens just to get you enough eggs for the week. You know, just start slow. But I'm telling you, I'm warning you, once you get two chickens... <laughs> Don't go into Tractor Supply or Rural King in the spring. You're going to want all the chickens. Or ducks. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're so cute and fluffy. Um, Tractor Supply and Rural King are a mistake to go in to buy a couple of chicks. Can't do it. Can't be done. And they're the gateway animal. Not only will you want more <laughs> chickens, you're going to want just more animals because all the baby animals are adorable. Yeah. So you just want more animals so you have more babies. You know, um, it just kind of, once you start, I think, once you start doing it, it just kind of grabs a hold of you and... Um, because you get lost to it, and that's not a bad thing to be lost to. Does the lack of having, say, a convenience store, that quick 10-second run down to get something, to do something, uh, does that bother you? No, if you just deal with what you have in the house, you know. Just you make, We make sure, no matter what the weather is coming at us or what the conditions are, we've got plenty of everything out here, so. Yeah. And, like, you know, when we know... The, one of the big things of living like this is to always be keeping an eye on the weather. So if we know a big storm in the winter is coming up, then we make a, a town run and get, you know, whatever we think we're going to need for a few days or, or Anything whatever. Anything to help top it off. And that would be same with spring storms and stuff. Yeah. We, we watch the weather religiously here where we're at in Indiana. We can get some pretty vicious storms, whether it's rain or snow or ice. Uh, we're in this little zone that gets all kinds of that stuff. Um, other than that, you're happy? Homesteading's good? Life's good? Oh, yeah. I, don't have I, go, my, I don't have my life's good hat on. So. Yeah, when I go back to visit family in Chicago, I just, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. You know, uh, the well, traffic is horrible. I'm like, how can you live like this? And they're used to it because they never left. You know, and um, neither one of us can stand to going into a big city. Just hate it. It's terrible. Yeah, I only go up there once or twice a year anymore. But I just—it's just too much. You know, this we call it the slow life because it's slow. There's no cars zipping by. You can't hear them, and you know, it's not crazy uh, busy. It's, but it's, it's not slow because you're. It's a different kind of busy. You're, you know, doing all the chores around the the homestead, but um, I would much rather be doing that than dealing with crazy city stuff.
Okie doke. Well, that'll be about it. About time for us to get back to work. And that's kind of what a female's point of view is about homesteading work. Yeah, uh, more work. So all of you take care. Have a good day. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.